when it rains it pours or how the mighty have fallen if you clicked on this video then you obviously know who mr beast is and for those of you who have been sleeping under a rock well mr beast is the biggest creator on the youtube platform 300 million subscribers and every video that he would drop well up until now would get tens of millions of views within the first few hours but it's safe to say that all of that is now changing well he's not having such a good time right now because many of his former employees are now releasing video after video online exposing just how bad this man really is allegedly people have taken to twitter tiktok and youtube to expose all of his antics apparently he pays his workers close to nothing well that's if he even pays them at all he is sexist he has committed fraud and some of the people on his team have been called out for being groomers as if the allegations of his colleagues being groomers and having inappropriate conversations with minors online people say that mr beast has known this all along and another damning allegation is that a lot of his videos have been staged so basically many of them are fake and green screen has played a big part as well this is the one thing that mr beast stood out for a lot of creators said he puts a lot into his videos and they look faked but only that they real and only for them to come out that they fake this should serve as a warning and a lesson to the rest of the creators on the platform and for celebrities at large enough is enough i mean people are sick and tired of being lied to and stolen from mr b's core audience are kids and yet he defrauded them in many ways than one creators like logan paul are also guilty of this type of behavior he goes on selling numerous digital products convincing his followers or should i say subscribers to buy into his fraudulent coins like the dogecoin he was called out for this and he blames the company and his partners and not himself he claims he was innocent even now he's suing people for exposing him for his fraudulent activity apparently there's a game he was supposed to release that he has not yet released yet people have already paid the blue collar ordinary working man is tired of getting defrauded they're out there working honest jobs i mean they work all day only to come home and find a millionaire with a gofundme those of you who are fortunate to already be making money and have many streams of income should not be asking ordinary people for more and more money it brings to mind like what the rock dwayne johnson and oprah winfrey were trying to do with the whole hawaii debacle the these are millionaires if not billionaires asking people for donations on tv and for those of you that have subscribed to a lot of these celebrities and influencers do not be played refuse to be played never give out money on the internet especially to those that you look up to like your celebrities and major influencers and so forth a lot of them just lend their names and their influence to companies to advertisers to companies that want to sell you something they just in it for a quick buck and they do not care about the product that their name is actually selling you. Dwayne Johnson promotes a healthy lifestyle but at the same time also has an alcohol brand on the shelves then there's that famous video of Kim Kardashian promoting a burger which she herself doesn't even eat KSI and Logan Paul were promoting their prime energy drink which turned out to be very very unhealthy and thank god it it's now unpopular in stores and then there's the other part where a lot of these transgender and homosexual influencers guess like people into thinking that they are homophobic and so forth well it's not your lifestyle that people have a problem with you're an adult and you can choose to do whatever you want to do with your life but it becomes a problem when you start trying to influence especially children rich or poor straight or otherwise people should not involve children in whatever they're doing keep your hands off the kids miss rachel is someone that comes to mind her audience are basically infants up until children become seven or eight or nine and then on the show she has a transgender person singing songs now there's nothing wrong with the transgender person but putting this person every day in front of unassuming little kids is not fair give them a chance to learn how the world works and how to see what's happening dylan malvaney and other drag queens who want to speak to children and tell them things like it's okay for two men to be kissing and so forth well it's okay if you're a grown man and you want to do that there's no problem with that but to go to nurseries and kindergartens and so forth and try to tell children that this is okay well that's not okay 
you are never too big to not get cancelled. And this Mr. Beast situation should serve as a reminder to all of you. Once the people speak and they say enough is enough, well, it's off with your head.